I'm gonna have to start off everything with okay. I just finished making a shake. This will be the first thing I eat today. Today is Friday, May 20th. It is 1.56. I haven't had anything to eat or drink. So like I said, I just made um, a shake. Well, I made enough to have three. Um, but I wanted to give you guys an update on my little table project. So this is it. The tank goes up under the bottom, sits in that ring. And um, this is just from one of those pallets that I got at Lowe's, the one that I showed you guys I was working on. Hopefully I'll have a picture I can insert to remind you of its progress. And then the little fire pit thing goes on the top. And that's the little fire pit. And I probably could have put one more sweat in there, but I chose not to. The opening doesn't bother me. I may put one though. Still have to hang that up under the bottom. A little of uh, this, and I'll put this up somewhere. That's for when you're using it on a table that has to cut out in the middle, or even if I put a slat through here and cut the hole in it, it's to secure to secure the uh, the fire pit itself to the table so it doesn't move. So yeah, I may put I may put one piece in there. I may go just get a scrap piece from Lowe's, like a one by six, so that it can take up that whole space. And I'll cut the hole in the middle of it. And then, like I've been saying, I'm redoing everything, but some things are, I'm using what I have around here and refurbishing it until I replace it so that, so that I can still make some differences and changes without kicking in my budget till I'm actually ready to get to that particular thing. So my front porch has no furniture. I got rid of what was on there. So I plan to take this little table, repaint it with um, heat resistant flat black and put possibly put a natural colored wood top on it. That's the plan anyway. And it'll go on my front porch. And then I'll also put um, a couple of chairs out there and I have cushions for those. That's that. So little by little different little things. I need to wash all the covers on these cushions and I do have some more pillows. Um, they're the solid cream color and these pillows I will probably put in my yard sale. I'll wash them and then probably probably put them in the yard sale and I'll have solid cream and maybe black. I wish the furniture was black. I wish those covers, the seat covers were black. So I may look at ordering new seat covers and that'll change up the look the way I want it. And then have the cream pillows. And if I can get black seat cushions, I may keep these pillows. I doubt it, but I'll have the cream ones at the very least. So that's it with the tank. Not the best visual, but you don't want them closed in either. It has to be breathable, breathable material around it. So I could do a mesh something. I don't know, we'll see. And this wall is where the TV will go. And it'll be in a cabinet or enclosement that's made from a pallet as well. I don't think I'll be doing that. I think um, my handyman will be doing that. Good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Hey, stars. Ugh. Good morning. 
tape when everything is done. See, that's so much better. I need my other tripod. Happy Monday, everybody. Good morning. Um, it is Monday. It's Monday. It's Monday, March 23rd. Um, I'm not even sure if I have any appointments today or what's on the books like that. I know I have some things this week, but um, that's on my list right here. I'm sitting here working on my list of things I need to focus on for today. And I'm up to 18 things. Um, it definitely could be more than that, but I'm trying to do the, the primary things, the things that really, really do need to be touched today. Not just things I would like to get done or want to get done, but things that really need to be touched. And um, so right now I'm up to 18 of those. Um, I'll probably be adding a few more. Uh, it is 8.33, as you can see, I'm dressed for working outside. Um, I'm making a lot of progress and I know you probably can't see it all in the, in the videos because you just can't see everything and you can't, you don't have the before of everything to compare. Um, when I get things far enough along, I'll try and find some old footage or pictures from everything before and just do a whole, maybe one video that's showing all the before and after. You know, and not that it's going to be so dramatic. Some of it will be, and some of it won't. But um, it will all be an improvement in my mind. And uh, even this past weekend, I had a few people come by for things, and um, and they were speaking on um, how much progress has been made, and they like what they see. You know, and it's saving me a lot of money it's taking a lot of time but it's saving me a lot of money doing it myself doing as much as i can myself and um and it's and i like doing it so it's a win-win in a way <laughs> it's a win-win period so anyway today um i have a lot of business related things to do but i do have some things on the list that are um, for my DIY projects and things like that. Um, one thing that was mentioned to me this weekend was um, separating my videos, um, showing, even though I'm not a, I'm not a lifestyle vlogger or anything like that. You're not, you, you don't watch me to see all the latest designer and you know, installs and get ready with me and and all those kind of things, or, um, you know, stuff like that. Uh, Cause I don't, I don't video that. I don't wear, you know, I have lots. I don't wear installs or wigs. I don't, although I do want to try wigs. I don't wear those. So you won't get a lot of that. Um, I may start to do more hair related things with my locks and record more of that. Uh, I don't do um, hauls per se. I show you guys things I bought sometimes, but I don't specifically record hauls. And, you know, I don't really wear makeup, so there's none of that to do. Although, I do want to go have my makeup done. So, Things that I go try and go do, of course, I will try to record whatever I can. I'll try and I'll try and post those things and share those things when they do happen. Um, I like getting massages. I like getting pedicures. Um, I don't do my nails really. Any, you know, I did them for a few months since I left my job, but um, I stopped, and it's just not for me. I have too much to do. I have too many things to do, but I do want to start going and just getting my nails done. So, you know, I will record those things. And, you know, just the things that I do. I, I go to uh, an extreme kind of chiropractor. Uh, he's very uh, internet famous and he's famous in his own right, I guess, for what he does. Very popular. Um, so things like that, I'll post. I'll, I'll record 
in you know just my everyday life like i said that's it's just me that's that's what i post here i love music festivals i love concerts i love you know any kind of festival just about and things like that i like to go places and and also as i start to get back out there from covid lockdown and and right now i spend a lot of time at home and home improvement stores and things like that just because i have a lot going on with my house and i'm trying to get as much done before i do have to go back to work full time which is coming pretty fast and um you know so right now a lot of what i do share is just what's going on right now and um but anyway to get back to what i started out saying someone mentioned to me about separating my videos and not so much as doing those things like i said that i don't do but i do a lot of diy so um they suggested that i make my diys separate videos and then all my other stuff where i'm you know out and about running errands doing shopping um doing stuff in the house making my shakes or just whatever else all the rest of that go into a can be in the same video but because diy is diy specifically separate that so i think i'm going to try that i think that was a good idea and because i am doing a lot of it um that may be better because even if you are watching me just for everyday life you may not want to see the diy and then there are people who may only want to see the diy so i think i will try to do that um i have to see how much footage i get both ways to see if it's worth separating um i'll try and i will try to record more and uh hopefully there'll be enough substance or just enough to post separate videos like that um honestly there is enough i just have to get used to actually recording it <laughs> you know there's there's more than enough i'm not really comfortable yet with what places i can record at and can't and sometimes when i'm working i just want to go and do and get things done and i don't set up my camera or my phone to record so i will try and do better with that and get more footage get more details instead of just me like talking and things like that and um let me see what we come up with i'm learning this is all still new for me um so i'm definitely willing to learn and try some different things you know, so I'll start taking you guys with me. Like I said, I retwisted my hair this time, but I do have an appointment next month for my actual hairstylist that does my hair. Um, and I'll take you guys with me there. I'll take you guys with me. I think that day I also have another um, foot facial. Um, supposedly, or hopefully, a massage with a new massage therapist. Who I hope to possibly become my regular massage therapist. Um, there's some other things. It's it's Gemini season, and I'm a Gemini, so a lot of those things I'm trying to put on the same day or within the same week um, as my birthday or before my birthday, leading up to my birthday. Uh, I celebrate my birthday the whole month i celebrate gemini season the whole season and um i just always have and i love it and uh so hopefully there'll be a lot more things and then we did get our kendrick tickets but that's not until august um i still need to do one music fest tickets and yeah it's it's there there's a lot of different things um, i have another trip that i'm working on planning for that uh possibly a glamping type trip i'm not sure yet we'll see depends on what i come up with so um and a beach trip so we'll see what happens we got some other things coming up that i won't mention 
not that they're so much, but you know, I don't like to mention a lot of things and then they don't happen. And since they're just right now in the planning stages, well, Kendrick's not, I do need to make my hotel reservations. Um, my son is gonna fly in and meet us um, in Charlotte, Charlotte, North Carolina. That's the show we're going to. So he's gonna fly in and meet us there. So I need to book our hotel for that. And uh, he'll fly out the next day. And one music fest, we may do the same thing for that. Well, June is really packed. So um, some things will have to get missed because some things overlap. So we won't be able to go to everything, but I'm trying to get as much of that, of that straightened out as I can right now. Um, but yeah, from here through the fall, it's, it's gonna be a lot of stuff. You know, like I said, hopefully I'm going back to work full time. It's soon, um, still have real estate and I have some other business ventures that I'm just now starting in the planning phase to see if I'll be able to do those as well. So just a lot going on. And I don't know how much of this monologue <laughs> I don't know how much of everything that I've just said will make it to the video, but hopefully enough of it so that you get the gist of what's going on. You understand what I'm going to try and change or improve on or try differently to see if it can improve um, the content on my channel. Okay, you guys, if you, I have the camera in the house, I have my phone in the house on a tripod looking at the fire pit area. Two of the tiki torches have fallen over. Um, I, I had meant to record the rain because at times it was coming down, you could barely see anything out there. That's how hard it was coming down. And it knocked over two of the um, tiki torches. I'm about to run out there and try and um, get those back in the ground. I don't want all of my citronella and everything to run out and whatever. So I'm going to go out there, deep in those holes and put the tor tiki torches, tiki torches back up. So hopefully we'll get some good footage off of this. We'll see.
Okay, I'm back. I gotta take a look. Um, one of the tree limbs, if you saw me pull that tree limb on down that had been partially cut, um, when I was dragging it across to the pile, one of the limbs got me in the back of my leg. So I gotta look and make sure it didn't break the skin or anything like that. It got me pretty good. That happens sometimes. This is about to burn. So I also started um, started digging a hole. That hole had been there before. Um, I'm trying to think if I had something planted there or, oh, I did. There was something planted there, but it didn't thrive or anything. So um, I had filled the hole, dug that plant up, got rid of it, and then filled the hole in. Um, I have a spiky palm that I moved from near the deck to out by the fence, but it's a full sun area and that plant is not liking that. And I have a new one I had bought to start and it's out also out there in that area. So I am moving the biggest one, the one I've already, I already had to that hole you saw me digging. And then I'll dig a smaller hole scratch that. I don't know where I, why I said smaller hole. I'll dig another hole for the other plant probably to the left of the fire pit coming back up towards the house. You can't really see it in this shot but um, I'll move the other one the newer one over there. That way they're in partial shaded areas um, they don't get full sun as much as the rest of the yard does during the day. And hopefully they'll be able to um, be able to stay right there. And eventually I'll just separate some of the banana leaf trees because I have a lot of baby and toddler banana leaf trees coming in. I'll move some more of those out by the fence. So... That is where we are on that. I wish I had my camera out there because one of the, um, if you look to the far left corner, you see uh, of the fire pit, you can see some rich orange blooms. That is um, a bunch right there in that section of different lilies and like Asiatic lilies and day lily, um, is it day lilies? But another kind of lily. <laughs> And, um, and something else that's not lilies, but whichever way, all the lilies have blooms. So there's another one in there that's like a rich purpley color, um, but you can't see it in this view. I, I wish I had taken my phone so I could take a picture, but I got soaked. I have to change. Even with the raincoat on, I have to change. It's in there hanging by the fireplace. Um, and then one of my newer lilies that I put out also to the left of the fire pit, but in front of the fence, I have plants coming up the fence line to try to, when they grow in, they'll camo camouflage the fence and look more like a natural border. Um, 
the moles, I have moles in the backyard as well. That's why you'll see um, sometimes you'll see black patches is where I filled in, dug and crushed the tunnels and holes and then filled in with tree, tree soil. Um, but over there, they literally took one whole plant. It looks like they pulled it into the tunnel. Um, squirrels and chipmunks and I guess moles too, things like that. If you have bulb plants, bulb, B-U-L-B, plants, they will mess with your plants. I have to uh, put out cinnamon. I I'm going to. That's one thing that helps keep them from uh, bothering your plants and gardens. Cinnamon, um, lavender, peppermint. No, lavender and peppermint are better for insects. And I plan to put some of that out too. Um, lavender, peppermint, rosemary, basil, um, catnip, marigold. I'm gonna put some of all of those out, especially the rosemary, lavender, and peppermint. Those are real good for fleas, ticks, mosquitoes, um, ants, things like that, spiders. So I plan to put some of those out around the front and back of the house and on the deck. And then they have good scents, the peppermint, rosemary, and uh, lavender also will provide good outdoor scents. So I was going to go get those this morning, this morning and I still may since the rain is lightening up. It's supposed to rain all week. And I do have new plants that are coming in over there along the fence line where I had planted bulbs only and not starter plants. So those are breaking ground. Um, when it all grows in, it's, it's going to be nice going to be very nice. I still have to trim back some more limbs from the trees. If we can, I'll try. You see, you can see um, where there are flowers and things going down the side. Well, some of that, where that gap is, you see the tall ones right there at the left of the screen. Um, when you get past those tall ones, tall ones right there those are gladiolas i believe um there were a series of small asiatic lilies going through that section and you can see a little bit of green but it's like the moles are pulling them underground i cannot believe that that's crazy and then there's more lilies past that like dark void right there more lilies gladiolas gladiolus, some yucca plants, and there's another, that limb that's hanging down to the left of the screen is partially cut as well, Left upper left corner right there, so I need to get that on down because that is partially cut, that part right there. But... Work in progress, work in progress. And there's the pile over there where I had to take that down to. And you can see back there that plant that kind of looks like it's dying past the banana leaf out by the fence. That's a spiky palm. That's the one I need to move to where I dug that hole at. I need to move that spiky palm to that, that hole that I was digging. And then there's a smaller spiky palm to the right past that um, tree pile. You can't see it because it's, it's a baby. And I need to move it as well over here to the partially shaded side of the yard. But that, that area, area right there from the, from the outside of the fire pit, from the right side of the fire pit to the complete right side of my yard, backyard, is pretty much full sun the majority of the day. 
So plants on that side need to be able to tolerate direct full sun. So the palms, the spiky palms will be moving. And I have ponytail palms on the deck. They'll stay up there for a year or so and then they'll go out in the yard. Possibly if I don't move before then, because if I move, even if I put them out, if I move, they're going with me. Those grow up, can grow up to be like 30 feet tall and they're beautiful. So they will not be staying here. Anything I can dig up and take with me is gone. <laughs> it just is. And you know, all buyer's taste is not yours. It's not the same as yours. So I'll leave enough for them to get an idea. And if they say they don't want them, I'm take, taking everything, most of the plants. The rose bushes out front, the um, drift roses. I don't know if I'll take those, but the tropical stuff in the back will be going. The bulb plants will be going. I'll leave some because they grow and spread constantly. They come back every year and they come back more and more and more. So um, those will be okay. Um, I'll take some, but some will still grow. So it'll just be up to them if they want to keep, keep them. I'm not saying that I really will sell the house. I may just rent it or lease it out. But I'm trying to create a natural border to hide the fencing and um, in that back section of the area that's the dog run. And I need to get somebody to get that dead piece of tree down from when I had those other trees cut. That piece got hung up. I want that gone.
told you guys, like, I have moles in the yard. That's why you see all the patchiness where I'm trying to dig and repair and all that kind of stuff. How about, and I think I mentioned in one video where they have pulled one of my lily plants under. How about while I'm over there, I look to my right and I see them tugging on one of the other ones. And I go over there and jab the, the shovel in the ground. And then I go to pick up the lily to kind of tell, see what kind of damage it is. And the only thing left is the little green part that's above the ground. Granted, these used to be like six, six to eight inches tall. And they're just like the top of them is just what's left sitting on the ground for uh, a couple of the other ones. There's one left that maybe they, there was two, two lilies in each, each pot, two or three. There's one left that has one left out of the three. And then one is completely gone. And then the other ones only have one, one top of the plant left, like the top of the stem. They've eaten all the rest of it. So I will have to get more and re-strategize my planting them over there. I've not had this happen that bad before. And um, so what I'll probably do is when I dig to put the, the new ones in, I'll put cinnamon and rosemary in, in the hole too. And, um, and some uh, poison for uh, molds. I'll put those all in the hole first, then a little dirt, then my um, then my plants, and see if that helps. That was really bad. Yeah. And they're just in my backyard, they're not in the front. It's ridiculous though. It's just like having someone go through and just shoot holes in the yard.